Hello everybody, I'm Mage Total War and welcome back as we carry on as the Dwarves of Ered Lewin. This is episode number three. We'll do a quick recap like we always do, then we will end the turn, I think. Yes, yes we will. So in the last episode, we took Oskellen. Could have probably been a touch better, if I'm being honest with myself. Um, did lose quite a lot of soldiers, which is a bit unfortunate, but these things happen. And we also took Barketa, as you can see here, with which has the main, I know it's not much of an army, but it, it is our main army. Uh, we have a couple of units up in the fort, in between Garth Heligoth and Fuerost, with Bro and uh, just a few units, um, just to save us some cash, because we are making about... Yeah, we're making decent-ish money. I can't, we're not, it's not brilliant, but it's not too bad. Um, we've got Angmar. We've got two Angmar units kicking around. We've got two armies. We've got Captain... I don't want to say Brian, because the eyes before the R, so it'll be Bjarn. Ben, Bjarn. Brian, he's over here on our northeast border, which he's not going to pose much of a threat but Captain Athelward <coughs> pardon me is it quite early? well it's not early it's about nine o'clock uh, when I'm recording this um, but I'll, I'll go through it later on in the video <laughs> so I might sound a little bit tired I'm not tired it's just yeah <laughs> it happens when you're a man when you get past like 20 21 you just start to like your voice just starts to get worse and worse on a morning. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but yeah. Sorry, Captain Athel Ward does have a rather imposing army now. My main concern is the Barrowites. Don't want to be fighting them. They're also effective against armor, which is good because they should be because the Barrowites. But it's not good for us because we've got to fight them. Um, but we do have some good units in the Sons of the Fallen and uh, the Gabu the Gabu oh. The double G's, the double G's, that's what we're going to call them from now on. I'm going to send a spy, Dralin. He's going to... Little snoochy poos. Ah, oh, so they've only got seven. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, I can feel it tickling my throat. That's a dog shit army. That's a dog shit army. I'm glad them Barrowites are just seven. Iron Crown Longbowmen are always going to be a pain for us because we just were slow in moving. Iron Crown Warriors, fantastic unit. But, there's only 32 of them, so, and the rest of it's just infantry, thralls, I think there might be a unit of pikes there, yeah, we should be able to take that fairly easy. Um, ideally, like I said in the last video, I'd rather they attacked us. If, if it attacked the fort and we could hold on out there, that'd be brilliant, that'd be absolutely fantastic, but, you know what, the AI's like, they'll do something stupid, I'm sure. Um, so that, that's kind of goodish start to the episode. I will just quickly discuss now before we end the turn. Uh, the plan was to try and rush the High Elves, but as you can see, uh, which I think all of you can agree on, um, it's not looking very possible at the minute, so I might just have to take what we've got when we take the ring script and have Grimborn and see what happens in terms of who we get attacked by, because I do think it'll be the High Elves. If I'm being brutally honest, oh, it takes one Dwarven Travelers actually. If I'm being brutally honest, I haven't really played as Ered as Ere Lewin for that long, so this is just as much of a surprise to me as it is to people who are watching who haven't really uh, watched an Ered Lewin campaign before, so, you know, we're, we're, we're all in this together, High School Musical. Um, I'm hoping that we can hold Ered Lewin. I know we haven't got, sorry, well, it is Ered Lewin, isn't technically for the Boom Islands, but Thorin's Halls will, will be the settlement that'll get attacked. Um... Hopefully we'll be able to hold it. If we get a bit of time, we can pull our forces away from the east and drag them back west. Um, and if we lose, then the campaign's over, isn't it? So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but with that said, we shall now end the turn and see what Angmar does. So we're being attacked at the fort, which is to be expected. Oh, balls. I clicked off the faction announcement. I think it's to be expected. Um, we might be able to hold it. Probably won't, but you never know. You never know. Uh, we got a mission objective. Oh, oh, there we go. It's 10.34. So we've got nine more turns for the ring script message. 
Uh... Oh, there you go. Sorry, I was just reading that. I was, uh... <laughs> so we will get attacked by the High Elves, which is brilliant. It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. I guess I'd... Could have went straight for the High Elves now, but... I, I don't know. It just doesn't fit. I, I don't know. It's difficult. It is difficult. Because if we didn't... If we just stayed... We could try and pull our forces back and just hold on to what we've got, but... It still leaves... Doesn't leave... Hmm. Werost, by the way, is a... We will get... What do we get if we... I don't know. There we are. Best units available. Right, I'll tell you what, let's um I haven't even repaired the castle. Try and get that. Uh right, let's let's make a deal. They got fifteen percent. I think we can leave Lillian here. Take everybody else out. See what happens when I do that. It's us. Brilliant. Uh can I put you in there? You in there? Wow, it really doesn't like us, does it? 60%? I can't even lower it because it's a... Uh... Oh, I don't know what to do. Might just have to see what happens. Uh, I think we've probably got like another five turns before we can... Let's... And that'll rebel, won't it? It will. I pop you in there, and then pop you in there. Okay, so it does like it. Yeah, right, okay. Let's head up towards Fuerost. Let's try and. Ah, uh... oh, they've got another army here. Oh, it's Captain Brian. Oh well, he might do us a favour, take that, and then we can we can hop onto that. We can hop onto that gravy train. I can't remember where any of my diplomats are. Lasana. Oh, he's done. He's done all right to get down there, already in twenty-five turns. Uh, I think we've got diplomatic relations with Gondor. Yes, we do. We don't have it with Dol Amroth. Dol Amroth. So we shall head over towards Dol Amroth. <sighs> I like playing as Dol Amroth, but it's like a kind of I don't know about you guys, but take they just the units take too long to get going. I kind of can't be asked by that point. We will fight the fourth battle. We might be able to hold it. Maybe. Depends how good the fort is. I think it's a dwarven fort, so we won't be as good as the Dunedain one, but even if we lose and that guy dies, I, I, to be honest, I'm not overly... If we look at the family tree, it is Bro. So he is the son of Clan Herald Grey, but he does have another one in Thraw, so... Yeah. And he does have a son as himself, Grindfarn. So, you know, I mean, it's not... I don't really want to lose him, but... Yeah. Not to worry. Not to I think, yeah. I, the last episode, I do apologise if you was watching it and you did think, oh, he sounds a bit, if I do sound a bit miserable. Uh, I've just been having a bit of a shit time with work recently, so it's kind of been a bit, um, hasn't been ideal. And I recorded that episode the day I come back from work and I was like, oh, what am I doing? I just wasn't feeling it. So, yeah. I was a bit sort of like humming and hawing. I wasn't really talking that much. I was kind of thinking about what to do, really, more than anything else. Because I just don't want the campaign to fail. Like, if we lose Thorin's Halls, then we've lost, like, most of our income. So I think once it gets to about... What turn did it say again? Uh, it was... Oh, isn't it? I see. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, do, do they for you'll get choice to... Accept and we'll go neutral every faction, cause script tax in some of your cities by the high. Blah, 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 blah. So we could lose quite a few. We could lose Vamgathol as well. But I'd, I'm pretty sure it just attacks Thorin's Halls, but if it attacks Vamgathol, it's not the end of the world. Um, it doesn't really make us too much gold, so it wouldn't be horrendous. Um, and all the way you can do it is you can just cheese the game where you you get attacked and then you sue for peace and then leave you alone and then you take it back. But <laughs> I mean, would I do that? <sighs> to be honest, probably. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't cheat, but I definitely um I de I definitely push my limit on what would be classed as cheesing. So yeah, it's um it's a bit disappointing because I was kind of hoping to fight the high elves from the off, but. Kind of stuck fighting 
fucking angler at the minute and whatnot, which isn't ideal, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll end the turn now and we'll get a bit closer to Fueros and then we'll we'll decide what to do from there. We bring word for you. Gone aligned with with Bre. Um We don't want the alliance. But we do want the trade rights, so if you can, I accept we this we'll take that, deal with and I shall see you in a second. An honor and a pleasure. And so here we are, being attacked by Angmar, outnumbered, about five to one, ish. Um, I mean, you never know. The thing is, you just don't know. You don't know. I mean, it might work, it might not work. The only unit, I mean, we're in a fort, so we, we do have a unit of Dwarven Travellers, so. But even if we can whittle this army down, like, if that's the only army that they've got kicking around here, really, then, you know, I mean, don't think it's going to be too bad. I'd rather get rid of most of this army from them here, lose Bro, potentially, and then take our units up to Fueros, take Fueros, move back towards Thorin's Halls. And try and hold out. I think it's probably the best thing. So we'll jump in this battle and we'll see what we can do. Oh, it's misty. Misty. I do quite like the Dwarven Fort, actually, because... You can, um... Now oh, they've got a siege tower. Fucking hell. Well, <clears throat> I was hopeful that we could maybe do something, but... Um... Yeah. I think it's going to be a bit of a... Little, little bit of a challenge. I shall put the Dwarven Travellers, probably just put them here, I think that's probably a decent-ish. I'll pop the Militia on the walls here, uh, we'll keep the General on this wall here, and just see what happens. I'd like to see, I think we'll... If there are towers, do I want I want maximum towerage, you know what I mean? I don't want to pull off the walls, so I'd rather hold the walls for as long as possible. Uh, these are all buildings, I believe. I think one might be a tower. No, don't mind. Right, let's just let's just start. See what happens. See what happens. Um, because I don't think forty pikes are going to be able to <laughs> to hold for that long. But the gate will give us a bit of time, so I'm kind of hoping we we'll take you off fire, will actually, because you won't do much. Hillman. Hmm. Very average unit of the Hillman. They look really small, don't they, on the walls? Like, look, their heads don't even pop over the... Ah, oh, I know the words for this. I believe I could be wrong. So, you know, don't quote me. But these little squares that come out, I believe these are called crenellations. And matriculations are the... They're like little holes that they used to have, like here. So, like, the sort of edge. I know you can't really see it. But, like, along here, I think... Could be wrong, but I th I'm pretty sure I learned that from somewhere. Come on, get up the walls. Go on, you bastards. Come on. Go on. What is it? Angram infantry. Oh, yeah. They should... Curses. The enemy are battering down our gates. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on. Go on. Get, up, get up on this wall. Hopefully these will route. Um, if they route, we can pull the general off and we can... Well, not in that way. Um, but we can try and have him help with the gates. I'm saying that like it might work. We should be alright. I don't like the siege the towers, to be honest. Wow, he's getting he's getting kind of slapped a bit here. What's your stats here, bro? What? Attack of 15 and a defense of 30. Why are we getting annihilated for by angry infantry? Come on. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, well. We've lost... Oh, we're four percent each. Wow. A bit disappointed in them, um, generals. You know, to be honest, I can't, I can't lie. I'd rather lose this fella than lose the faction here, to be honest. Um, I don't know why our towers aren't firing for, but ah, uh, maybe because they're contested. Maybe I don't know. Swords! Swords! 
This is the bit where the stupid Gondor archers fire at the trolls. Well, they don't fight the trolls, they fire at the siege. That that scene still, to this day, 20, nearly 20 years later, still pisses me off and I can't get over it. It's just so stupid. Why would you fire at a piece of wood when there's trolls? Yeah, whatever. That, that scene aggravates the life out of me. Yeah, there's seven of them left, so they should be good, so we should get... They've still got quite a way to go, to be honest. Um... Like I said, I, I don't, I don't think we can win this. I'm fighting it purely just for, you know, um, see how much we can kill. Oh, that guy fell off the wall there, but just the, the banner carrier. We've killed nine percent. I mean, if we can kill around 30, 40, that'd be okay. Um, this, this last, right? He's done. So, gate will go on a second, won't it? Two arms. I think we might just throw the. I think we might just throw the general down like here, and just have him down, like so, and just have him, yeah, like that. The walls are no longer ours. We're our the savages. You know, you don't want to fight as dwarves as as, as our peace and units. I see what they send up through the siege tower, but they will just most likely send most of the units through the um gate, like which makes sense because it's the. Quickest way. Um, shame about the siege tower because we, if it didn't have it there, then maybe. But we'll see what we can do. I, I mean, you never know. You just don't know. Start firing now. I think. I can hear. I can hear towers. Oh yeah, they are firing. They're not the good ones, are they? They're not the baluster towers, but you know, not much you can do. We'll take off times two. Put it on times one. Uh, we'll get the archers firing into the mix, hopefully. He's firing. Look at them all look snowy. Why are you not firing for? Why are you? You just don't fancy it. Yeah, we should we should get some kills here, to be honest. We should get some kills. Um, if this Hillman unit routes, we'll pull this Eridlu militia down and try and get down there, but I just don't think we can do it at the minute. Um... We've lost seven, they've lost 18, so... Well, I think we'll just get overrun on the side of the general, to be honest, just because he's, you know... Well, I mean, there's only 23 of them. Um, and they do have some good units, so... You know, um, we will take that. The filtering off, the Hillman unit are filtering off, but... As you can see, the pikes have already got through. So, it's not brilliant. But, I think... All things considered, I don't think... Well, don't fire into the... Our own pikes, you twat. Fire back there. Honestly. I think if we had an extra unit of pikes, I think this, this battle would probably be alright, but... He'll, they're, they're still... They're, they're fighting them now. Just keep firing. They've lost 27. I, I, I said 30 to 40, didn't I? So I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. Um... I switched this. I switched this Hillman unit. Fuck off! But it's forty-seven of them left. Forty-five. I've lost thirty-one. I mean, we are we are probably the best, one of the best um, factions in the game for defending. So you know, I mean, we're not. We are kind of built for this. It's just we don't really have any soldiers. <laughs> uh, oh well. They've lost 30, I mean, they've lost 36%. That's not bad. They will take this fort, though, and they'll probably just push on. Well, if we try and, if we try and take Fueros, then we might be okay. Um, just keep firing, keep firing. How much Hillman are left? 14, 13. Do you know what? I, can, I think I can take the risk. We're going to pull the militia. Oh, they've pulled up on the walls. Bastards. I'm hoping that wouldn't happen. Stick it on times two. We've killed 41%. Pikes are on 17. I'm on 17. Get down that. Get off that fucking wall. I can't. Um, they'll probably get slaughtered, won't they, if they come off. Can you come off this way? Come off this way. Run that way. Pikes are on 10. Pikes are actually done quite well, to be honest. At least they're at least they're all firing now. 
General's on 14. <laughs> he is only winded, though, to be fair. So, I mean, he's not done bad. Get off this wall. Oh, my God. I, honestly, I hate it. I hate it when you try and get people off walls. Don't chase my units, you bitch. Get off. Get off. Oh, no. The Rodar Pikemen are coming for my Dwarf Travellers. Oh. I've lost 50. Oh. <laughs> ah, shit. Ah, oh, they're getting slaughtered. Come on. No. Let's pull back. Pull back. Oh, they've lost so many. Look at that. They lost like... Oh, no way. Killed 53%. General's on 12. Try and throw you in there. Stick it on time six. Cause I think we I think this is done, isn't it? I think it's. No, no. To be fair, if you just keep firing, keep, see how long you can fire for. If they want to send their pikes up on the walls, and you know, crack on. And they've lost fifty. They've lost the sixty. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their it's a pikes man. They just try and try and try and. Oh. My lord, only half our force remains. How much of them is the left? 38. They've killed we've killed 66%. I don't think that's bad. I can't I can't really complain too much. I would kill the general. general <laughs> Doesn't matter though, because our general's on six. There he is. <laughs> As I just said that he's died. Oh well. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will I will accept. There's still three of them left though. I mean they're not doing bad. Uh, we've killed 68%. Oh. Ah, oh, they're routing. Yeah. Ah, oh, Them pikemen have done a proper number of them, Sunday. Yeah. I think we did alright there, all things considered. It's it's sad to lose a general. It's always sad to lose a general. It's always sad to lose a battle, but... You know. Um, he's there somewhere, the last fell. There he is. Trying to go for it. At least we killed 69% of them. Nice. So, yeah. I think... I don't think that's too bad. I'm not... I'm disappointed, but... We killed... Nearly 1,200 of them. So, I mean, I'll take that. I mean, that's not bad. Um, Yeah. It's disappointing, but... You have to see some positives. And we, we killed most of that army, so... You know, they've got 700 remaining. Which is a bit of a shame, but... You know, if you look at what we took, tra Travellers took 330, Militia took 343, the uh, Tombs and our Nobles took 273, so I can't, I can't complain. They killed at least two for one on each, General killed nearly 10 to one, so I, I really can't complain. Uh, we'll jump back in the campaign map and see what uh, damage has been done. I don't really want that fault anyway, you know what I mean? Not that fault. <laughs> Ah, it's a shame. It is a shame. It's always a shame when you when you lose a general. Yeah, they're connecting Brian and that little douchebag together, but we'll probably say... Um, oh, I'll take that general, though. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, well, you two can sit in there, then. Um, of course, our cues of the realm like us for, doesn't affect us. Bro, rip. Sorry, mate. Didn't even save any money because they were free upkeep, so it's like I can't even find a positive. Ah, oh, the f oh, fuck me. There's another fucking Angmar army. I'm sure these bastards just pull. They just pull units out their ass. Like it's it's bullshit sometimes. Like, um, right. So we shall send. Don't know what's in that army. Uh, can I find out? Where's my gem? Where's the spy at? Something to investigate. Can't get close enough. Yeah, maybe I'll... I will only address you in yeah, it's crap. Right. Um, I think we'll be able to hold. If I give you one unit of pikes, should be able to hold with that fairly easily. Yeah, you got these this these two armies here, which are a bit of a pain because I was kind of hoping to just attack Fuerost, but. Um, 
I just want to try and take Fueros and then it's done, isn't it? And then we can, you know, we can take what we've got and then we can just leave. But we will try and um, we need as much units as possible because we are going to get attacked. So I'm going to take off the, I'm going to cancel the uh, rally point from Thorin. So I'm just going to keep it there so we can try and get something um, for Hamgathol. Same with you. We can recruit anything, just send it down to Thorin's Halls. Rather lose Farmgathol, 100% than Thorin's Halls, so we need to try and keep it. Um, we'll keep uh, Clan Held Grain and Gimli, not the real Gimli, just another generic general called Gimli. Garth Heligoth, hopefully these two armies will attack Lily, and that we can, uh, we can hopefully hold on to Barquetta as well. I think we will, I mean, I'm not, not overly concerned. Um... Get some trade rights with Dol Amroth. Dol Amroth. Try and speak to Ara Denaim. Oh, they hold Merlin Gap. Oh, well, they won't hold Global Merlin, will they? So let's send the diplomat down there. Oh, well, they'll sign the map. Um, yeah, I think we'll be able to hold that. That's a shit army. I think, to be honest, I think uh, Clan, Her Clan Lord Gore will be able to hold that on his own, really. But the Pikes will do a good turn, like, so we should be okay. Um, but apart from that, though, I think things are looking a bit... I think if we can get a good victory at Fueros and get rid of these two armies here, take back that fort, then... You know, I can't really complain. Uh, we'll end the turn just now and we'll see what we can do. So, we'll, I'll see you all in a second. So, I believe we are being besieged at Barquetta, which is what we kind of expected so I can't really um can't kick off because well they just say we was gonna do that. Uh money wise we're not really making any money. Kind of story of my life really on uh <laughs> but yeah oh, we need some troops don't we? we need troops troops yes my king uh right we'll send the spy we'll send the spy up back this way because I noticed that on the end turn one of them armies disappeared Captain Garther isn't the captain that he's at the droid you're looking for. Alright, let's try and take Fuerost. Get a couple of siege rams. We've got another we've got seven turns, so if we can hold out Barquetta, we can take Fuerost. Try and see what we can recruit at Thorin's Halls. Pull everybody back to Thorin's Halls, then by the time we take the rings, get Grimborn, we should be able to hold it. I think. Wishful thinking. But we have to, we have to, we have to hope. Yes, I do want to go around. Cool. Right. Take some trade rights off you. Yeah. Very nice. Of course, uh, do we have trade rights with Harad? Where is Harad? Harad, Harad, Harad. No, we don't. We should send him towards uh, their capital, which I can't remember the name of. Right. I think we're good for this turn, I think. We'll be able to hold out back here. I'm not concerned with that. We'll be able to take Fuerost. To be honest, I might just try and sim it if uh, see what the balance of power is like. Because I know that the army was pretty shit. Uh, we're getting a unit of Dwarven Travellers from Thorin Tours, which is good. Not that I'll do much against Elves, like, but, you know. Well, all right. Uh, 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 entry level, it might. Top tier, no. <laughs> but entry level, it might. We'll end the turn, and hopefully it won't be too bad then turn. Right, so we're being attacked at Barketa. They've got nothing of... The only unit that I suppose they've got that might be a bit of a pain would have been the Wargs, but... Well, we're in a castle, so it doesn't really matter too much. So, we've, we've saved it. We've got the Clan Lord in. We've got a unit of Pikes. I'm not overly concerned. Might be a bit of a challenge, but... They've got two Rams, so they're not going to go up on the wall, so we can focus all our attention on the gate. So, we shall jump in, and we shall hopefully have another successful battle. It's not a brilliant defensive map, this one, but what I will say about it is we don't have any range, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but sometimes if you've got ranged, it can be a bit of a pain because you can't put your units in here. I don't know why. Look at this nice green space. Oh, beautiful, we can't. So, yeah. We shall put the pikes in the middle here, and then we'll put... Mm, 
We put the pikes there. Yeah, I think we'll put the pikes in front and then we'll just have we'll have pop you guys. Oh, sorry. Pop you guys over here. And we'll just try and keep the pikes keep them in place and we'll just have everybody attacking from the side and hopefully we'll be able to whittle them down enough. Um you know what they're like though sometimes. But hopefully. I hate it. There we are. That should be okay. You go like that. Uh, it's not a brilliant, like I say, it's not a fantastic battle map to defend, but when you've got when you've got no range, it doesn't really matter. It's like I say, you can only really put here, you can put your ranged in the town square, maybe here. Depends on what you've, you, you've got, I suppose, but yeah. Stick it on time six, because it doesn't matter, we can't do anything. We'll just let the towers do their tang. What is the stats for the pikes? 339. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. They're not bad pikes, actually, are they? They're not bad. When they're armoured and stuff, they're much better. That, though. We've got the clan lord here, so we, we won't rout unless he dies, which... Oh, I fucking hope he doesn't. That'd be really sad if he did, but... <laughs> that would be just my luck, where your clan lord dies in a... Arsene Castle in the middle of nowhere. I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> Please don't die. <laughs> oh, get in there. Come on. The oh, enemy have the walls. Look to our defense at all Already lost. shaken. Take it off times six. We'll put it on times one. Alright. Wargs. I like how on Ajo Howard tells you what the special effect does. Your ability does. Ah, the great classic. Love it. Love it. How does that work? How does that work? It's just ridiculous, and I hate it. It's, it's the worst thing about Dak. I know that they try, and they and they do know they try, and I'm not like, but get there. Let's get the clan lord in now, I think. And I know they do try. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not having to go at them or anything. But it's so annoying seeing them just like push through like that. It's just like, well, what's the point? In all fairness, what's the point in having a pike unit when you can just run through it anyway? It just seems a bit pointless, but... Yeah. I'll end up just ranting about the, the, the thing for a while. Uh, so, Clan Lords, his ability... We've got three uses. Does give 50% our own combat effectiveness. Does lock our morale. Um, should we have one now? Let's have one now. That's the first one. So we've got three goes. Getting, getting stuck in a bit. We'll get the Firebeard Warriors. We'll try and get them in the town square just in case. So I'm going to pop him. I'm going to pop them just there. Like, look, it doesn't even let you go like there. And that one tiny bit. Uh, we've lost two. They've lost 26. Hopefully the Clan Lord won't get himself killed. Don't think he will. I hope not. Pikes are holding out quite well. Um, they're a good unit to use as a sort of a flanking unit. If you can keep them in place with your pikes and stuff, it's, uh, it's nice. Go on. He's can run, mate. The militia aren't a particularly good unit, but I suppose they are our worst unit. If you, Well, apart from the dwarven labourers. Uh, but they're a dwarven... They're, they're our worst sort of Erid Lewin unit. So, so what I'll do, I'll throw the one, one fire bait warriors, stick behind the pikes, and then hopefully he will be able to help them out a bit. Oh, he just oh, sound like he burped. <laughs> oh, look at his arm! <laughs> like he's swimming. <laughs> well, he died. Uh, start that. We'll stick it on times two because I think we've we've got him. We've got him. Um. Enemy are badly yeah, we've lost eight. They've lost, lost 52, 53. Right, pikes are holding out really well. We could begin. Oh, I can't say that word. Like sometimes I wake up and I think, all right, I'm gonna say it, and then it just it, it just doesn't come out of my mouth. Gabilgathol. I think if you say it too fast, For the moment, the fortune of battle it, it doesn't be. like your voice. But Free if you say it like such. fairly slowly, it isn't too bad. Right, we've lost. 12. They've lost 67. But if you noticed, the Clan Lord hasn't lost a single unit 
He's an absolute beast. He is a beast, and I'm like, I can't say the unit he's got, but if I could, he would. I'd say he's a beast. We haven't really lost much of the pikes either, really. We've still got 112, which is fantastic. Really, we'll have another one of them. That should hopefully help us out a bit more. They've lost 78, but they're stubborn, so they'll they'll hopefully hold on for a while, so we can get the 85 percent, and they can fuck off. Um, no, no, give it a look. No. Right, we're on 86, 87, so they've, they've, we've, we've taken their required amount, which is brilliant. Oh, we've lost one. Oh, rip. Sorry, a minute. Take it on time six. Try and get out through there. Go on. Go on. What are we on? 93. Get rid of these wargs. Get rid of these wargs. There we are. I'll take that. Cut the cowards down. 95%. Get in. Boom. Look at that. Get in. This is a great victory. Get in. Right, what what did he get? What how many kills did he get? Four hundred and six. Bing bang. <laughs> Four hundred and six kills and lost two. Absolute unit. Ah, that's good that. That's got rid of that whole army there. So that's fantastic that. We'll take that. We'll go back in the ba battle map and hopefully sorry the campaign map. And hopefully we'll be able to take Fuerost. Oh, that was good. That was good. Get rid of you. Sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. Right. The pikes was a good decision there, because if we had we didn't have them pikes, that would have been a completely different battle. Gimme's got himself a fair maiden, which is all good. Uh, Q stalled. Classic. Isengard and Rohan have went to war and turned 28. That's what I like to see. A bit different. I like that. Right. Well, that was a good, successful battle. Money-wise, we're not really making much. Um, kind of standard now. Oh, look at them. Dooms and our nobles. Get them our belly. Still haven't recruited anybody, which is a touch annoying, because I was kind of hoping we would at least have somebody, but I think we've got one unit of Dwarven Travellers, which is free upkeep. So, we'll take that. We will take that. Um, right. So... Wearost. Man, yeah, it's actually kind of like, kind of like not that. Um, oh, we might have had a bit more of balance of power, but oh well, not to worry. So the only unit that they've got that's full is hit the Hillman. Um, I'm really not too concerned about them. Let's just jump in. See, I was going to sim it, but I think, to be honest, I, I think that would be a bit of a mistake. I think we'll end up losing. Like I think we'll end up losing more sons of the fallen, which we don't want to really lose any of them. Not really. Uh, so we'll jump in. It's Captain Faramir as well. He's got himself a bit lost. So hopefully we'll take Fueros with relative ease. So I shall see you all in a second. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, oh, you might that might cut out, but I forgot to. Um, <laughs> I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot to start talking before I um, clicked that. Right. Still, it's still misty. I don't want it misty. I need to use the toilet. I know you don't need to know that at all, but that that's why I <laughs> was a bit odd. Right. We're going to put the... Uh, hmm. We've got two rams, so we shall utilise two rams. Uh, we'll put the fire bead boys on this side. We'll have the labourers on that side. We shall have... Probably the sons of the fallen and the crossbows on that side. And then the pikes and the general on this side. So let's start the battle. Start the battle. What have we got on this side? What have we got? We've got pikes and we got some savages. I'm a sight of it. Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. Didn't mean to say. <laughs> uh, we should be okay, I think. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I have. I always think that you're gonna lose. You're always gonna lose soldiers playing as the dwarves. Uh, we, the pi the crossbows, they're a bit of a ball here because you you would think that they would work, but they don't. They like they don't fire over walls. Like if I was to put them here, for example, I put them there. They might have range to them hillmen, but they're still gonna get hit by that tower on that side. Um. It's just a little bit annoying, to be honest. I, I like crossbows on the game. I'm not a 
big fan of crossbows. I have to admit, I do prefer um, archers. When you're fighting, if you're, fight, if you're defending a, a settlement, especially in a dwarven one, like with the caverns and stuff, if you can get a good angle on your crossbows, it's firing in on armoured units. Oh, beautiful. Especially them um, broadbeam marksmen and the blacklock engineers. Oh, crema mistima. But we don't. We have Erdogan scouts. So, you know, we can't really um, complain too much. Uh, they're not in range. We'll try a bit further forward, maybe. Try a bit like that. Um, stick it on time, Steve, because there's not a lot happening, really. No, nope, still nothing. There, maybe. You're not going to have that. You're not going to have that hill, though, are you? Uh, how about there? Will that work? Right, so this is a good uh, this is a good example. Right, so they're within range. So what'll happen is they'll probably fire, and it, it they might hit them. They're on two hundred nine, so we'll have a look. Oh, I like that. Oh, I've just proved me on fucking point point wrong. Right, well sometimes what happens is you fire and they don't they don't actually yeah. Oh well, fair enough. They're gonna put them on. We'll send the uh, laborers and we'll get them to fight the Hiskars. Hopefully they might um, do a bit of damage. We've oh, got so many firebead warriors. Jeebus. Right, let's start moving you guys. Where's the Sons of the Fallen? Well. The gates fallen. Their gates are down. Come on. Right, drop your ram. Get stuck in with them pikes. Suck in. Right. They should doing us a bit of a favour. There's 160. I know it's not the the better one but it's better than nothing uh, start fighting the Scars. they'll probably route because you know what they like but yeah right we've got a unit of Pice with them forward as well Firebeard Warriors oh they're not doing anything right oh well get them in as well throw the uh, Sons of the Fallen in getting some kills with the crossbows which is good um, stick it on times two we shall have the pikes. What should the pikes do? Give the laborers a hand on that way. I actually think the crossbows have done all right there. I'm quite, I'm quite, quite pleased with that. Like you are doing that, which is good. Get the sons of the fallen in towards the town square. Um, I'll have the pikes hopefully trying to help out the. Come on. Oh, they're getting the slapped a bit now. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think the crossbows are gonna be able to be in range. Are they? I don't think. Try that. No, nah, they're not. They're not close enough. Oh well, they've taken that. So if you's running there, they've done that, which is good. We can try and put the crossbows down here. If we can, hopefully we'll be able to. If I pop you there, that should get you a good range. Yeah, cool. The laborers have routed, which is brilliant. Oh, sorry, I forgot about the. Uh, forgot about you for a second. Start fighting the Hiskars, Hopefully, you'll do okay. Uh, have you guys sorted? Use a sword, right? Come into the town square then. Crossbows will help on this side. I'll stick it on time the six, because not a lot happening really. If we remain true and steadfast, ah, shit. Pikes are coming for us. The pikes. The pikes, the pikes are calling. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Oh, it's like a fucking firing squad, that. Right. Firebird warriors, you're going this way. We'll have the sons of the fallen. Oh, he's dead. Sorry, mate. Hit the crows. You go on defensive. You can hold that position like so. We shall put the crossbows like that. Probably won't fire for much longer. We've lost loads. What's going on here? We've lost loads of pikes. They are routing though, pretty much, so should be okay. Uh, where's the fire bead warriors at? You come down there. Hopefully. I don't think. I think it would be a bit remiss to fire on the Hiskars, I think, so we, we won't do that. Charge at them pikes. They are. They're not in. Go on. Oh! Do we get any? Do we get any? I don't know if we got We got one. Oh, that's not very good. We can throw them. Throw you in there. 
I want to try and get it so that the crossbows are like facing like the... No, go that way, man. Chuff me. Right. You go like that. Go like that. That's okay. Right. I'll fire them as scars. Now, if I kill my own general... There we are. Right, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Yeah. Not a brilliant battle, I can't lie, but... <sighs> we don't have... Oh, balls. I'm just going to talk over this one, because I forgot to cut it out, and I was... <laughs> I was about to start kicking off, uh, but we're not going to kick off, we're not going to kick off. I will what I do, I, I did mention it um, the other week, was when I was on about cutting out bits of video, you know, like end turns and what have you. I did, I did think uh, maybe we should keep end of battle turns, you know what I mean? So then you can kind of talk about the battle. So I, I'm going to, I know I've just forgot to do it earlier on. I've done it, forgot to do it twice. But I will try and remember to keep it in. But everything else I'll cut out, obviously, because it's just like me talking over the end turns. Um, but that battle wasn't brilliant. Um, I'm not overly proud. But what I will say is... Uh, they don't like us. Um... I'll have to just exterminate everybody. I'm sorry. Oh, Sons of the Fallen. Bing bong. Get out of my dreams. Get into my car. Billy Ocean. Have a look at that. Oh, free upkeep and all. Well, that assault on Fueros is worth it just purely for them Sons of the Fallen unit, to be honest. We're going to send the Sons of the Fallen. Oh, no, we're not because they can hit him. Um, right. That was relatively successful. I will... I will um, take that i know the battle wasn't brilliant but we'll definitely be able to hold it if we get attacked we've got six turns before we get attacked so i might all i might do is i might just try and pull out a fuerost and just start pulling everybody back towards barquetta maybe um because it's a bit of a shame because i don't really we haven't really got are we recruiting anybody no no uh, we haven't really got, there's, there's not a lot, it's not a lot going on really, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I don't know if it makes us that we go to war with everybody. Um, oh. Oh, crumbs. Okay, oh well. <laughs> I was reading that there, I was like, oh, it, 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 it gets worse. All right, we're going to start ferrying troops back over to Thorin's Halls so that pike unit can go. I can't take Nar out because this place just hates us. Um, so he's going to have to sit in there for the time being. Um, we could change the game a bit and try and sell some uh, some of the settlements to Angmar or something maybe, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't really, I don't, I don't really want to. I, I don't know. You, you let if 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 anybody has an opinion on it. Uh, Angmar haven't really got much money anyway, so we can't really get any cash from them. But you've got cash. Nice. Um, let me know, because um, I will end the episode in a minute. Uh, if you think I should sell some of it, like Fuer Austin Barquette, if I should sell them and move back to Thorin's Halls, uh, is that cheesing? Is that cheating? If it is cheating, or che if it's cheating, then, you know, let me know. I, I won't do it. Just trying to think of a good enough, you know, trying to think of a... A bit of an idea to try and keep on to some of these, like, not totally lose the game, but try and inject some cash into the campaign, if you know what I mean. Because I don't think we've... We could cheat me with a diplomat, but I don't think... I, I do think that would probably be cheating a bit. Um, but just let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you think it is sort of like pushing the boat a bit, then, you know, obviously I'm not... I'm not interested in, like... I think their regions there in it. I don't want to be a little douche. I don't want to be a cheating douche. No, I, just, I just don't want to lose, to be honest. <laughs> it's the top and bottom of it. Um, so just let me know. Let let me know what you guys think about that. If maybe we could sell Fueros or Barquet. I wouldn't sell both. I'd probably sell Fueros if I had to choose. Um, and hopefully that might ease up a bit of cash. Um, oh, we could take that army. I'd love that to attack us in a fort or something. We'd just absolutely annihilate it. To be honest, I didn't think that army could hold there, really. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep there for a turn. We'll see what we can do. Um, 
money wise, we're making okay-ish money. We're making about just over a grand a turn. It isn't too bad, I suppose. Um, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. I'll end the turn just now. Um, I'll put it in the I'll put it as a chapter in the comment in the video so that that if you click, if, I know some of you do watch chapter by chapter and what don't watch other bits and watch bits, which I get. Uh, but you can see it, and then if you drop a comment in the comment section or on Discord, um, I might try and get a bit of a vibe for it on Discord over the next sort of day or two. Um, just see what you guys think. Well, we'll end the turn here, and then we'll, we'll see what happens, and then we'll end the episode, I think. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not going to build uh, in Fuerost. Um, that's it from Gandalf. Doesn't affect us. Get off my screen, Gandalf. Sometimes that happens in AGO, sometimes you get a random message, which is kind of, you know, I'm not complaining. There was one once where it was like, I can't, I can't remember what campaign I was playing, but it just, it didn't make any sense, and I was like, I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> get off my screen. That's a bit, a bit miserable, like, but. Uh, who was it, War? Well, Isengard with everybody. Classic. We've repaired Barketter. I suppose that's good. Send them um, pike units back to Thorin's Halls, which is good. Should have a bit of recruitment now, maybe. Oh, we're getting some pikes. To be fair, I'll take all the pikes we can get. Heirloom Militia and more pikes. I don't know how many of free upkeeps we get at Thorin's Halls. Uh, that says four. That says two. Uh... So it should be five, it should be six, maybe. I mean, if it's not, it's not, it doesn't really matter. Um, Angmar kind of, I don't really know what Angmar are doing, to be honest. I think they're just sort of chilling, like they've, they've kind of, they were here, and now they've kind of just pissed off again. Um, oh, there they are, there he is, <laughs> I've just said that. Hopefully we'll be able to hold um, Fuerost, if we can get it. Oh, we can't get any. I'll have to use a diplomat. Uh, a diplomat. I have to use a spy as the sort of watchtower because I'm not building anything Continuing there. Because if I'm going to sell it off, you guys think I should sell it. Mike. Sorry. Um, e even if we don't sell it, I'm still pulling everybody out because they need to head back to Thorin's Halls anyway. Right. So Gimli, you can head over that way as well because I think. Oh, we do need some watchtowers actually. That that kind of works. Get one there, and then have one built there. That's nice. That's nice. And then you can build me one somewhere around here as well. Because I haven't got much visibility around there. Um, yeah. So. Let me know what you think. If I should sell Fuerost or Barketta. If you think that is cheating. Let me know. I won't do it. Um, my opinion of it is kind of like it was just a thought. If it's something that like we do think we could do. Without it being a little cheat little douche. Uh, I don't want to be a cheat. I'm not, I try not to. Well, I said try not. I've never done it. Although I did once on the Darwinian campaign, I did reload a, a battle because I fucked up a bit. But I think you'll forgive me for that. I mean, that's that's a one-off. And to be fair, it was more the fact that I just put my unit on. So, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll take that. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's my own fault, but, you know. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. If it, if, it is, if it is cheating, I won't do it. If you think it's just a bad idea, I also won't do it. If you think it's a sensible idea, then I might do it. I'm going to... Oh, can I reach that fort in time? What I don't I want to try and move these sons of the fallen back to Thorin's halls. But what I don't want to do is put them in that fort and then Oh fuck it, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I've done it. That should save us some money actually as well. We've won! You go back there as well. Um I might just pull everybody out of, of Fuerost, to be honest. Because they'll probably attack for I reckon they'll attack Fuerost, and I'm not that bothered about it really. So it would be a case of like, this video is going to go up uh, tonight on Monday. And uh, the next video for Erid Lewin will be on Friday. I do apologise it was tonight instead of last night. I was putting the Christmas tree up and well, I was in quite a festive mood yesterday. So I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll do it on Monday instead. Um, I'll take them pikes as well, actually, and go in there. Uh, so saves us a bit of money. But yeah, this video is going to go up. Next video is going to go up on Friday. 
So let me know what you're thinking and we can start this episode. If we do something, great. If not, we'll just pull everybody out of Fueros, let Angmar besiege it. We pull people back to Thorin's Halls, jobs of fish. I'm really not that interested. If you know what I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way, but I don't want to, I just don't want to be class. I don't want to be a, a little cheater. So let me know what you think. If you have an opinion on it, do let me know. Um, if it is on Discord or YouTube, it, either or, I'm, you know, I'm a 2021 man, so I, I don't really mind. We want to try and get an army over at Thorin's Halls as quick as possible because we've only got a few more turns and then we'll get attacked. Um, it's a bit of a shame that we couldn't attack the High Elves earlier, but, you know. Um, yeah, such is life. Such is life. But we're, we're, miss we're saving some money with the units in the fort, which is good. Uh, next plan for next episode is to see what you guys think about the suggestion of selling one of the two to whoever. Um, could sell it to maybe Angmar, maybe. I could sell it to Bree or whoever, really. Bree would probably buy it, to be honest. Um, but then again, you don't really want... It's hard because you don't want an enemy on your doorstep when you're fighting a full fucking high elven unit. So, you know. Um, just let me know what you think. I mean, it, even if we lose it, we've lost a combined income of, what, 400 gold coins? I mean, wow. Like, do you know what I mean? I'll put that down on low just so that I don't have to see the blue face. Um, I do like how on AGO, if you put it on low, you don't really lose that much tax, but the happiness does get better, so I like that as well. So let me know what you think. So like I said, the plan for next episode will probably, to be honest, it might not be the next episode, but it might be the episode after where we fight the High Elves. So I'm quite excited, a bit nervous, but if we can get everybody back to Thorin's Halls, then I'm I'm not too concerned. Uh, Clan Lord Gore is how many turns away? He is three turns away, so we've got another turn or so to decide, so, you know. Um, but yeah, just let me know. So always huge thank you to people that have been watching, subscribing, and liking the videos. If you haven't been doing the latter two, you know, please consider it. it would be a nice thing to do. Um, we'll have a Gondor video tomorrow. We'll have a Dunland video on Wednesday. Erlewin on f Friday. I put an extra video on for the week because I didn't do it yesterday. And then on Sunday will be probably Gondor, I think. Um, and then it'll be Christmas week, and then I will discuss Christmas week on... I'll be doing quite a lot of pre-recording. So I've, I'll just discuss it probably on the Friday video. I might do it on the Wednesday, actually. That's probably the better one, because then I can properly plan it. But yeah, big thank you. And as always, I shall see you guys on the next one.